Is that us there? Is that all yes? F6? Yeah? It was raining. Did she say this way? Huh? Did she say this way? Well, I saw them in the so. Thank you. They said it was a short walk. I wonder what a long walk is. And just ahead I can see Okay, it's B, C, E, F, G on the sign, but there's nothing that's told us that we were going in the correct direction until now. I can see we must go to the left to get to F. First, it's security down there. Yep, and stairs, and I'm filming, I better run a little bit. Otherwise I'm going to be in trouble with Maru. She really wants to be at the hotel tomorrow, in the lounge before Christmas. Don't blame her. I do too. And she's moving it there. I'm following. I don't want to slip here on these strawberries. So here's passport control. I'll end the video here until we pass through to the other side. And now we'll go again, heading towards F6. We just passed through security control. And I just think if we're lucky, we are going to make it. Okay, it's EFG8 straight ahead. Nice shops. I think we were here in the summer, as a matter of fact. We bought some cheeses in that shop straight ahead to the right. So F6, where are you? Wow, they said this was a short walk. I guess not. Seems we're not the only ones in a hurry. Good thing I have longer legs. I don't have to run so fast. Passagiers for Flybe and Thinair naar Birmingham. Six. It's a long walk. To Birmingham. Departure time 21. I see our plane right out there to the right. Those of you who don't walk very well. You better get some kind of car to transport you. Because it's quite a hard walk, this one. Particularly under pressure. That's what I'm just telling the viewers. Yeah. That's exactly what I just said. Now we just have to pass through security also. Four to ten. We close, just go straight down the escalator. Very close to our plane now. Come, let's move, Maro. Not even boarding yet. We made it. Brilliant. Are they boarding already? We made it. Let's get in the queue. And we made it. Boarding our plane, Korea Air to Seoul. Aren't we lucky? It was one to f oh. Unfortunately, we can't use that. We made it. <laughs> yeah. We've never been this far behind for boarding, have we? Enough people there. Local newspapers.
I love what I see each other in the corner. Korean and business. And now we come to reality. Oh wow. It's full. Oh, you see. Curry. Mao is good. Mao is good. A little bit of miniature here. Yeah. Well, hopefully the air conditioning will come on soon. Sneaking our way through. Porsche, we went for Do you have our seat? I think I need my seat. I need my seat. Just get what you need. Mm -hmm. This is looking good. Yeah. 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 Playing Christmas music in the background. There's also a bottle of water, which is very nice. We definitely need that. Jeju pure water. I was already going for it. After that run, there's no holding her back. We have a little amenities kit, it seems. We'll open that a little bit later. And we have a headset. I'm more than likely to be using our own. We'll have a look at that later on in the flight also, when we open yeah. it up. And here's my seat. Legroom seems okay. Oh, good. A little cup holder. Yeah. Nothing in front, we'll look at that later also. Yeah. Good control. <laughs> and a good entertainment screen. Yeah. Plus two standing. Please direct your attention to the video screen for safety information. So here's a little safety video. Oh, no electronic cigarettes either, guys. Much of a pushback <laughs> a little bit better view up there. Good. Our monitor is able to show the front view and the bottom view. So this is the front view right now. Marlo gets a credit for finding that. Yeah, I'm smoking. I don't know what that is. Yeah. I'm quite sure what the flashing is. Maybe it's a pushback tug. Yeah. And I've got a comfortable socks on. Ready to fly. What are we, 10, 11 hours? Yeah. Not more? Not more. I think it's nearly 12. I've got the Adidas, I've got bad news. My flying pants had their final flight. So my flying pants from now on, at least for a little while, will be my jeans. But the good news is I still have my flying top. Ta-da! Watch out for that in future videos. My mother says I have my trusty balls, so watch. And then Maru says I must 
I mustn't stare at the monitor. I must stare at the camera. So then I can't see the monitor. So that's why I'm looking over there to the right, not to the left. And you on the screen, back and forth. I don't think it will work on Alpha Takeoff. Between oceans, mm, sounds like my kind of movie. Totally. Mm. So much mist here on the window, that's why I'm filming from above, just up in that position there. Waiting, ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready for takeoff. Please make sure that your seatbelt is securely fastened. We are ready to take off. Please make sure that your seatbelt is securely fastened. We are ready to take off. Please make sure that your seatbelt is Taxiing while I was filming on the window, she was nagging me. 
and asking if she could show you the amenities pack. So right now we're gonna let her show us the amenities pack. Are you ready for it? Okay. Bring it up on a bring it up on a table. Korean Air amenities pack. Packed in plastic and got some kind of papery bag. The in flight slippers? Yeah, in flight slippers. They look very nice. It's like paper in one of the bottoms, are they plastic or what? I don't think they look like water. That's nice. Oh, right? Remember, I asked you to take what, them what else is in that bag? Two for one. Oh, I asked. I asked the toothbrush? Okay, toothbrush yeah. yeah. That's it. Okay, well, that was a nice little amenities kit. Yeah. Very happy for this. That was a very good gesture. Not to mention the water. Yeah. Here we go. It's a standard headset that you're going to most airlines with uh, spongy sort of ear pads. I can see it's a single socket. Can you show us the socket? Bring it a little bit closer, the socket. It's a single socket like a mobile phone, which means we're going to easily use our own mobile phone headsets. So connected in there? Yeah. Okay. That's mine. You have the other side. Drive on the other side. Okay. Let's see if I have on the other side. I think I do. Yep, I do. There's a hole there. Some tells for us. Oh, thank you very much. Refreshing tell. It's also a nice gesture that they do on many of these Asian airlines. I'm actually going to use mine right away. Now the stewardess just passed out some honey roasted peanuts. One for me and one for Mano. She's about to use a serviette also. Oh, is that how you're supposed to do it? <laughs> the service is fantastic. Just taken off and ready to get juice served. We've had peanuts, water, wet towel. We've got a pineapple and orange juice. Mario and I got a split 50-50, but then there's a little bit of turbulence I can see, so hold tight. Pineapple was tasting rather good. You ready to have a sip? Well, it's getting a little bit bouncy here. Yeah. Feel the bounce? Yeah, so. Better drink. Seatbelt's on already. Turbulence is on the way. So we haven't been in the sky very long and already we got our first turbulence. Somewhere over Germany. Look, we're going up to Copenhagen again. We're going to fly right over Copenhagen. It's quite funny the route that we're taking is going straight over Denmark where Mara and I come from, or live. And then right over Finland, Helsinki where Maro comes from. Maro is Finnish of course. So we're going to do that whole loop going straight up northeast and then we do a bow and make our way downwards again. Both signs are still on due to turbulence. Let's see what movies are shown on this flight. I'm going to go straight to the Hollywood hits. And the choices are pretty good. I've already had a look at them. The Light Between, Pete's Dragon, Cafe Society, Florence Foster Jenkins, Jason Bourne. There's seven pages of choices. The seatbelt I just went before, so the turbulence is over. Let's have a look at the classic movies. Two pages of them. Let's have a look at some Korean movies. Yeah, the choice, only one page of choices of Korean movies, even though it's Korean air. Then we have some Asian movies. Cold War II, Bounty Hunters, The Bodyguard, Evergreen Love. <laughs> Not sure what those movies are and where they come in the European movies. Kids. Ah, Bolt. Very good movie, by the way. Treasure Planet is supposed to be very good. Secret Life of Pets, I'm definitely watching today. If I don't fall asleep. 
the audit special, I'm not sure what that is. Secret life of the dog. Not quite sure what that is. But those were the movie choices on this entertainment system. Let's have a look at the TV entertainment available. Choices are TV news, documentaries, sports, comedies, dramas, travel and food, life and style. We would normally call that lifestyle, I believe. Others and kids. Okay, next let's have a look at the audio available on the entertainment system. Audio is divided into categories of CD albums, channel music, audio books, and playlists. So next we're going to look at your trip category. We'll start with Airshow. It's probably in the map section. It is indeed in the map section. Arrival information. On the terminal map you can have to see what the airport looks like. Transit gate information if we have a connection flight. It will tell us what, where to find our next gate. And transportation map that's probably into the city. Let's have a look at the Oh, there's an announcement coming that's Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Captain Cho speaking. Welcome aboard Korean Air. We will arrive at uh, Seoul Incheon International Airport 23rd. Thank you. A short and sweet that message. So, here we are, back again. That was the terminal map we zoomed in on. There are quite a few of them, as you can see. Let's just scroll through them. Some good information before arriving at an airport. We'll be able to see what it looks like. Back we go. Look at the transit gate information that probably wouldn't be there yet. Yeah, it says it's only available one hour before arrival. The transportation map, that must be information of how to get into Korea. It's your transportation map. Next we'll have a look at games, but I think we're going to wait for that because dinner is about to be served. Okay, just before dinner we might be able to sneak in games. Games are categorized according to board games, puzzles, sports, arcade, kids. So we look at board games. Puzzles. It's two pages of puzzles. One page of sports, arcade games, Got two pages worth of arcade games and goodie, there's Pac-Man, and even pitball, kids games, and that was the games available on this entertainment system which by the way is called Beyond. Look at the kids section. It's kids where it's categorized according to children's movies, children's TV programs, children's games, children's music and storybooks. Before the meat was very strong. Now? <laughs> <laughs> I used to. Okay. Just don't put everything. Okay. Alright, thank you. What is it called? Beyond. Beyond. What is that? Some soup. Soup? Yes. Ah, lovely. Yeah. We got it. We got some instructions. How to do that? We must just film also. It's nice. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Really looking forward to this beat and bum. We're gonna be having today. Just having some wine also. Yeah we have the packs of beat and bum. Beat and bum or beat and boom. Where is it? Where is it? Beepim bap. Ah okay, now we got the name finally right. Beepim bap. It's the we put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. This is what we're about to eat. Beepim bap. Maro and I both been looking forward to this. Maybe if you pull the cover of the food, take the reflection away. We 
can see. What is that? What is in that bowl? Here. Yeah. yeah. Mushrooms. They're looking like some cucumber or tuchini. Some mar marrow tuchini. Spinach. Spinach. Minced meat and um, is that radish or radish or something? I'm not quite sure. Then we have the soup. And we have the soup over here. Yeah. It's supposed to be very hot. Maro took a wine. I'm not in the mood for any wine right now. What did you ask? That's we got the apples over here, fruit salad. Fruit salad. And what? Well, that's some kind of a. It's like a pickle that goes together. Yeah. Maybe you can take the lid off and bring it a little bit closer. Pickled cucumbers, and that was a rice you had next to you in the yeah. package over there. That rice you're supposed to mix up with the food. And what about those little chili? There they are. There. We forgot to show the little tubes. Don't spill your soup. Sesame oil. Sesame oil you're supposed to put on your rice after. Right. And this is the strong paste. Paste. And it's called what? Gochujang. Korean hot, hot pepper, pepper paste. paste. Yeah. yeah. Here is some very interesting soup. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully it's good. Otherwise it's difficult to have a. It's not going to be on my lap. Yeah. Well, are you going to mix that up? Man and I are going to have a competition who can mix up the best. Bibimbap. Just figure out how to open the rice without having it all over her. Uh, Amaro's in the process of opening that rice up. Seems to be quite a task. I'm going to get in a little bit closer so we can see what's going on. Okay, we've got metal cutlery. Brilliant. Korean air treats us like human beings. Check. Lovely little Serviette. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was the Winter Games. Yeah, the Winter Games. You've got the cutlery. Cutlery is very necessary to have because... There's no knife, there's spoons and forks. Amaro has got to proceed to mix it up if she can get a toothpick out of her, her food. I'm going to have to ask Mano to speed up a little bit so she doesn't waste the battery. He hinted, hint, hint, and the process has begun. Oh, you don't have to put all the rice. Well, let's see you mix it. Gently so you don't knock your water over. You better put your tube in also so you're mixing that at the same time. Careful that doesn't squirt all over us. I can smell it. What is that, a vinegar one? Sesame oil. Sesame oil, okay. Or sesame oil. Yeah, it smells lovely. Yeah? I wonder if Maro's going to finish this before the soup gets cold. Just Probably sitting not. there waiting. Probably. Here comes the tube. So if Maro can move her hands a little bit so we can see the tube at the same time. As she squirts it onto her BB. This is quite a difficult word to say actually. Whoops, I'm, been, I'm just about missing that. I don't dare to put it on. We've been waiting for months to try this. We especially chose Korean air so that we could have bibimbap. Careful you don't spill your stuff. Must be careful on the tray. What's the trades? Smelling good? Yeah. What's your drink, sir? Look at that satisfied look on her face. Let's go in for a closer look. Got all that 
goodness. I can smell it too here. So, if I film you now, let's see how quick you yeah. are. Well, that was Maro's attempt at mixing up a bit of bibimbap. And now it's my turn. First taste ever. It's quite exciting. Let's see how it's going to taste. It's a lot of silence. Is it good? So now we're both very satisfied with this airline. Service is fantastic, the crew is friendly, food is good, the entertainment system looks good, the cabin's comfortable, quite high to the ceiling also, we'll have a look at it a little bit later. Oh, wine is on the way. Very good service on board, this aircraft. We both enjoyed the meal, it was worth the wait, finished my food, drink got an extra orange juice, Mato got an extra wine. Cheers. The wine service as you can see behind Mato and the wine glass is glass. Nice, and there's plenty of wine being offered around the cabin over here. Service is good. Anyway, did you enjoy your meal? Yes. You finished it also. We both ate half of the rice. It can be quite heavy in the stomach. And the soup was also good. It was some kind of a... Yeah, let me see now. What does it write? Seaweed. Soybean wheat. Soybean wheat. Seaweed soup, yeah. I might have found it over here, up in the corner, see if I can get in there too. And hopefully you can read that right now, because I can hardly read anything on my display, but that should be written seaweed soup. For those of you who read Korean, you can see it there. Uh, now it's coffee time, is that a creamer? Creamer, yes. That's a creamer and your coffee. Once again, very nice and friendly service. So now it's time to look at entertainment system again, beyond entertainment system. We're going to look at the more button and then I think we're finished with the entertainment system for today. There we have categories about KL, Sky Shop, brightness of the screen, probably help with the screen and then parental control what the children can see on their screens. Go and have a look at the sky shop. And I bet there isn't anything you just can't buy here. Let's zoom in a bit and see what she say. It's just the products. Wines, watches, electronics, etc. A regular shop of things to buy on board. Categories include liquors, cosmetics, perfumes, gifts, chocolates and electronics. So the brightness of the screen, that's just adjusting how bright you want. As you can see, it's getting brighter. It makes it a little bit easier for us to see on the video also. Help. The handset control. And the seat control. What seat control do we have? Well, I don't think we have those seats, so we don't need that help. Handset control. Parental control. That's where you would send your entertainment screen to parental control so that you can block certain films from being shown. So we've got to go out because we don't want to block anything, we want to see everything. 
That was the in-flight entertainment system. Here we have the joystick, the controller, which I'm going to try and take out here. Comes out easily at the click of a button. It's a good wire. And there you have the controller, which also controls the light. Yes. So the light just came on. There's a stewardess button. Caller and, uh, well, don't call the stewardess button. And you can control your channels and your volume from here too. The screen power button. And a host of other controls. And of course here we have the keyboard and the games section. What I like about this is it's actually got a little joystick which makes it easier to play games I can see. No credit card, it's not a telephone as it is on other flights. So let's see how quickly that winds up or how easily it winds up. I'm just going to pull it over here. And there it is. Doing it with one hand, putting it away. I, my mistake turned off the power. Putting it back into the holder. Let's turn on the power again. And our screen's back on. That concludes the tour of the in flight entertainment system beyond. I can see that the stewardess is almost on her way to fetch our empty trays, which is also very quick compared to other airlines. Normally we can sit for ages with them in our laps, not be able to go anywhere. Oh, they're going to take them from the front first. Or, no, they're going to take them here. So we just finished a fantastic meal. Mara and I haven't actually had a chance to show our leg room. There you have my legroom. Don't let the folder there fool you. The legroom is pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. There's Mara. The business class legs as usual. Yes. They can move. She's missing her foot stand that we have on yeah. tire ways often. I don't think there's, no, there's nothing there. No, there's nothing, no foot tray there. Yeah, for the short legs it's but not quite nice. Mara doesn't find it comfortable for her short legs when there's not a little stand to give her a little boost. But my leg room's also pretty okay. My knees go to here. It's adequate space. Down there we have our pillows and blankets to my right. And I never showed the tray, I don't think. We had a cup holder on this tray can be quite convenient also during turbulence and the tray folds down like a normal normal like this comes down and as you can see it's a two-piece tray with a cup holder on the top part so you only have to have half of it folded out if you're having drinks let's flip it over and see if there's a cup holder there yes there is little area here for utensils or whatever you want to put there. It will also be good for a pen I can see. And it's a sliding tray as usual. You can see how much space I have. Let's see. Yeah, it slides well. You can have the tray right up next to you when you're eating or you can have it a little bit further away if you happen to have a bigger belly or, or you want to lean forward when you eat. Let's pack the tray away. One hand, closing it. Very easy. And I'll put it down a little lower so you can read the instructions. On the table, underneath. Let's take it over to the other side. Just up here, of course, you can see my mobile phone is in the USB port. There you can see it now. It's in the USB port and it's busy charging my 
Samsung Galaxy 3 telephone down here. Okay, it's time to have a look at the safety cards and the in-flight magazines and duty-free shopping magazines. There's quite a lot of stuff to go through today. Look at this wad of magazines and safety cards. Um, I suppose we'll just start here with the safety information for this Airbus A330-200. I mentioned the type of aircraft early on, but I wasn't quite sure which one we were on. But it is in fact an Airbus A330-200. So let's skim through this safety card. See conditions. A little bit bent up there in the corner, but that shouldn't be a problem to to view. Over here on this fold, there's a lot of instructions written in Korean and also English. The safety card looks like it does on most other aircraft of the same type. Informing passengers what to do in various situations. Let's see what's on the back side of the card. Some more instructions in both English and in Korean. There you have it, that's the Korean Air safety card for the Airbus A330. Now after viewing the safety card, there was also a card for people who have visited uh, disease risk areas, telling them that they have to fill in a questionnaire when they arrive in Korea. This is what that looks like. As you can see, it's written in various languages. Here we have the Korean Air, Air Sickness Bag, which I always call the bath bag, as you all know. Always make sure it's in front of you on the seat. Should you need it, you never know when, for whatever reason, you suddenly feel ill and need a bath bag. You want it to be there. <coughs> Maro has tried it, and I just managed to find one for her in time. I like this air sickness bag because you can bend it after you've used it to close it more effectively. Now let's have a look at Korean Air's in-flight magazine, which is called Beyond. It's in flight entertainment and music, what they used to offer. Article, I can see it's written in both Korean and in English. You can see there's a big basketball theme in this magazine. As far as I remember, basketball is a big thing in Korea too. There you have it. Beyond in flight magazine. See there's another magazine in the seat pocket. This one's called Morning Calm. It also contains articles and uh, Ah, domestic route map. There's quite a lot of information. See something about the fleet. Some news articles. It looks quite nice, these tropics. But anyway, it's a nice looking magazine. It's called Morning Calm. And as you can see, the next one's going to be the Sky Shop Duty Free magazine. Nice turbulence. too much about the turbulence. Let's rather worry about this duty-free magazine. Maro would love to get her fingers into this. Look, just look how thick it is. Now we're just going to skim that through also very quickly as we bounce along with the turbulence. I can see there are a lot of products to buy in this duty-free shop. 
don't normally buy duty free, but we regretted not buying on our Mutai OS flight. Because when we came home and read our magazine, we actually thought that the prices were rather reasonable. It's perfumes, electronics, all sorts of things available in this catalog. So there should be something for everybody, both the men and women, and I bet also the children on board this flight. Now that I'm paging through the magazine, I can feel the turbulence isn't as bad as it was. It's like we just hit one area of turbulence. Anyway, there you have it. Sky Shop, Korean Air's duty-free magazine. And Mado's already watching movies. should be on our left as we come over. A330, welcome to this little tour of the laboratories. So I'm standing here, this same room as usual, but it just feels a little bit more on this aircraft. Let's start with the door. We've got the coat hanger, one coat hanger. It's usually not allowed to smoke in here, even though there is an ashtray down there. When you lock the door, the action of locking the door turns the light on automatically. Here I am. Hi everybody. Welcome to Travel Channel. Those of you who haven't been here before, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. Let's carry on with the tour. We've got some tissues to wipe the hand or to blow your nose with. There's a fan on this aircraft. It even points down towards the toilet, so I suppose if you're sitting there, it gives you some fresh air. A plug. Let's do this button. I think this light means return to your seat. A whole lot of hand towels. A basin. You have a dirt bin. You've got the toilet rolls. Go back to the basin, show how the water works. It's 
touch button process. We have the usual outer toilet. I don't have my glasses on at the moment, so I couldn't read that. If this is the outer toilet, probably you leak. I'm turning around again. There you have the lavatory. And what I like about the lavatory here is you've got the cover, lavatory cover for hygienic. Uh, for hygiene, sorry. There we have the baby changing table that comes down, providing plenty of place for the mother or father to change the baby. That concludes this tour. I'm going to go out and have some juice now. Breakfast time, just before breakfast, we were provided with a nice hot towel. I've just got Maro's here on my lap because she just went down to the bathroom to wash her hands. We're over China at the moment, very close to our destination. We've both been sleeping most of the way, so I don't know what to put the job actually going. One hour and 44 minutes to go. <coughs> Both just enjoyed some meringue juice that they came around with. I was just finishing hers. It's about one hour and 43 minutes to the destination. This flight's gone really quickly because we're both pretty tired. Slept parts of the way, so I didn't film as much as I normally do. Hopefully, I'll do that on the other trips. They're very efficient, the staff here. There's plenty of staff walking around and serving the drinks. Breakfast is coming. Somebody must be hungry because somebody's table's down already. I'm not hungry either. There's mine. Maybe we can see here the leg room. You can better see the leg room down there. Now that it's light, this is about the furthest east Maro and I have been. I feel we're starting to descend now. You probably hear that too. It's very snowy down below. On this flight, the window shutter or the window shade is just a normal old fashioned one that you pull up and down. Unlike the Dreamliner, where you press a button which actually dims the window, but even the old fashioned stuff still works very well, if not better or more effective. Just under the wingtip down there in the distance, there's a power station in the middle of nowhere. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. I think it should be there. Maybe those are the shadows there. It is there. Anybody know what that power station is? Please write in the comments down below. Let's zoom back out again. Beijing. Beijing's just over here. Yeah. We can quickly show it, it disappeared now. That's where we are at the moment. There we go, that's where we are. Look at those river forks on the mountain. The scenery is really fantastic. Just before the omelette, and Maro 
course I chose to have the omelette, the choice was omelette or porridge and I think we both wanted the, the omelette, I'm not for porridge in the morning, it's a little bit heavy. of Tang Shan. Wondering what airport that can be. Here we go, Maro's gonna show us the breakfast. We got our coffee now, both of us. And the natural with cheese. Fried potatoes, sweet peppers, chili. Wow. I don't think I'm going to be eating all of that. Looking a little bit heavy for the stomach at this time of the morning. It's always appreciated on an airline. The cutlery is metal. I especially appreciate And a toothpick. Right? And you've got a yogurt also. Franchise a yogurt. Come in a bit closer. Try and uh, lift it a little bit to the side so we can see the yogurt. It's a strawberry yogurt. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Freshen you up in the morning. And then a croissant. There's no butter. We've got a croissant and some marmalade. And then the all important morning coffee. Leave Maro to leave. Let's leave Maro to leave. No, let's leave Maro to eat her meal. I'd better eat my breakfast also. Start with the yogurt. How's the yogurt? Yogurt, yogurt, huh? Here's a quick close-up of the omelet and the, what are those, potato? Crockets. Yeah, crockets. A little bit bumpy at the moment while we're eating breakfast. As you can see from the coffee. And now we're flying over the sea, we're over the Gulf of Chile. It's not far at all Seoul from here. See the our route, we've been doing a little bit of zigzag. I wonder if that's got something to do with airspace rules. If anybody knows the answer to that question, leave a comment down below or leave an explanation down below. Neither Mar or I is very hungry. So we've both had Half an omelette, we've left the croissant. Oh, I see someone took a bite of the croissant. No, you didn't. Left our marmalade also. Uh, I did the same. Yogurt and fruit was good, we both enjoyed that. The omelette was also very good, but we're just too full to eat too much more. Yes, rice is always filling. If you didn't catch that, Maro was saying that the bidum bum we had for dinner is very filling, all that rice. Which is why we don't have much of an appetite at the moment. One hour and three minutes left to go. The trays are just being cleared away very quickly after the breakfast, which is a very good service. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain speaking. 
We expect to land at Seoul Richard International Airport in about 40 minutes. The current temperature at the airport is minus 1 degree Celsius or 40 degrees Fahrenheit and it is clear. Thank you for flying with us today. So we're going from minus 1, we're going to head back to Ho Chi Minh City where it's plus 31. Exactly. It's quite a contrast. Time to destination, 47 minutes, ground speed 1,003 kilometers an hour, or 623 miles an hour. Rather fast, still at an altitude of 10,000 meters, above 10 kilometers. 350 kilometers to go, local time and destination 1458, local time at origin 0658. See how we've been zigzagging down towards Incheon Airport, Seoul. Well, as the captain said, very cloudy over So, you see the clouds are already beginning here. Mato's busy putting her shoes on already. It's very difficult for me to put shoes on the plane also. I always pull a muscle. She has the shorter legs and the aisle seat, so I suppose it's a little bit easier to get, get in there. Just listening to the announcement in Korean. Did you get that? Ladies and gentlemen, to enter Korea through Coronavirus Disease Risk Areas, please fill out the health questionnaire and so on. If you have symptoms such as fever, cough, rash, and diarrhea, you must inform cabin crew and visit the quarantine center after arrival. Maro and I are going to be flying on to Ho Chi Minh City, so let's check the arrival information at the airport. See if there's anything about our transit. There's transit gate information. And there's our flight. Is that our flight? KE0683 to Ho Chi Minh City. 10 past 6, it leaves from gate 7. Is that correct, madam? Why don't you check on the ticket? I have to take it now, we have plenty of time. Please check the ticket. That's married life. Nag, 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 nag. It only takes a few seconds to pull it out and check it up, but no, no, no. Leave it till the last minute. Okay, so tell me what the flight number is. It's 1840. Is that correct? No, 1810. No, that is not ours. Yes, it is. 1810. It says 1810. Oh, 1840. 1740, yeah. Flight 0683. Thank you, Maru. Well, anyway, it's gate 7 we have to leave from. Now we know we're going to gate 7. Let's see where gate 7 is on the terminal map. It's our arrival information. Arrive at gate 27 over here, and our departure gate 1 to 13. We departure gate 7 is ours, and that's about down there. It's not a very long walk, it doesn't look like anyway. We're still very high up, and though we are descending, the clouds are getting closer. I can see. The captain just told the crew to prepare Ladies for landing. We are approaching Incheon International Airport and open your window shades. Also, we will collect hands. So now, the, now the crew are all collecting the headsets. Just before landing, our seats are up in the upright position. My ears are getting blocked. You hear it blocked? Have a look out the window. Oh, I must blow my nose so that the air goes out of my ears. One well, blocks my ears. Getting closer now. Osaka is just to the east of us, very close to Japan. For connecting gate information, please refer to your individual monitor or as car cabin crew. Thank you. Banking right. I think we're in holding position here. Straightening up. Transact 
등받이와 발받침대, 테이블을 제자리로 해주시고 좌석 벨트를 매주십시오. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be landing shortly. Please fasten your seatbelt, return computers, under the seat or in the overhead bins. Thank you. Alle grote elektronische apparaten, zoals laptops, onder de stoel of in de bagage. As soon as time for cloud surfing. Moment we're maneuvering, probably pointing ourselves towards Incheon Airport. Crew is preparing the cabin for landing. Still maneuvering out. And banking left. It's a cloudy weather and so also it's interesting to see how much we see when we come through the clouds. <laughs> About to go cloud surfing now. Looks like we're banking left again. Sharp bank. We're going to be banking left and then straight into Incheon Airport. Banking left again. Feel that we're banking left and descending at the same time. And into the clouds we go. As always, when you go into the clouds, there's a bit of turbulence. above the clouds now and now we went in. Here we go, it became dark, misty. You can just make out the wing. Well, it's a bouncy descent. It's very dark outside because of the clouds. Let's see if we can put the interactive screen on with the front view. It was an air show arrival landscape camera. And we'll take it forward. See the runway as we come in for the landing. At the moment there's nothing to see there. Flaps are coming down. Still pretty bumpy here. I can see some ships. Landing gear just came down. Over the sea now. Uh -huh. Look at the bridge over the sea. Oh, I think it's looking like we came back to the last two. Yeah, there's a high rise. That must be Seoul over there to the right. I'm not ready. Turn and focus there, but it's a huge bridge, huh? You can see it. That's awesome. That keeps the bridge. See the city behind me. Nice bridge. Very nice bridge. <laughs> Long. There's a lot of barges down there in the water. Ships. Ships. They're all ships. <laughs> I was referring to my Qatar Airways Airbus A350 landing at Singapore Airport. The ships fascinated me. If you watch that video, you'll see how many times I've mentioned the word ships. You see the high rise? Under the wing. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. You see the airfield coming up. There's gonna be a. There's a mountains there too. Oh, at least high hills. That bridge is impressive, huh? Here comes the airport, if you can see it. As far as I remember, this is an island doors of the airport. There we go, approach lights ahead. Look at that. There we have Incheon. Way back home from Ho Chi Minh, we're going to be spending eight dollars there. Look at that! First time in South Korea. Little bounce. Here's the view we're looking at in front of us. So we come in. 
back to the window view. Fucking hell, Korean Air Jumbos. Hey, cargo. Yeah. Oh, this might be a bumpy one. Feels like there's a crosswind. Ah, oh, it's gonna be smooth. Get ready. And down, that was smooth. Nice landing. Welcome to Incheon Airport. Let's get DHL 747 over there also. Yeah, Joe. Larry just gets me. Yeah. Nice landing. Morning, 여러분. 우리 비행기는 인천 국제 공항에 도착했습니다. 지금 이곳은 12월 23일 금요일 오후 3시 43분입니다. 완전히 멈춘 후 좌석 벨트 표시등이 꺼질 때까지 자리에서 기다려 주십시오. 선반을 여실 때는 안에 있는 물건이 떨어질 수 있으니 조심해 주시고 내리실 때는 잊으신 물건이 없는지 다시 한번 확인해 주시기 바랍니다. 오늘도 스카이트 회원사인 저희 대한항공을 이용해 주셔서 대단히 감사합니다. 저희 승무원들은 앞으로도 안전하고 편안한 여행을 위해 최선을 다하겠습니다. 감사합니다. Ladies and gentlemen, we have landed at Incheon International Airport. The local time is 3.44 p.m. Friday, December 23rd. Please remain seated until the captain turns off the seatbelt sign. Be careful when opening the overhead bins as the contents may have shifted during the flight. Please remember to take all of your belongings. Thank you for choosing Korean Air, a member of Sky Team, and we hope to see you again soon. A very good flight. Yeah, definitely fly with Korean Air again. And Christmas music on. It's the 23rd. Tomorrow is Christmas in Scandinavia, and the day after is Christmas in other countries. So, Boeing 747 in that hangar, and I believe I can see an Airbus A380 sticking out of it too. And the 747 there in the distance. And there we have the main terminal building, I believe. Another 747 coming up with uh, large engines with chevrons, I can see. And then we have the air traffic control. Uh, I just noticed the sunlight up there coming through the clouds. There's A380 out there. There's the Yana Airlines A380. Let's try and zoom in on him now. Yes. Korean Air with Sky Team Library. So many airlines here. Here comes uh, Korean Air with, uh, I think, the Children's Library. Zoom in on him. Uh -huh. There's a Lufthansa Jumbo over there in the background. And behind that, there's a Korean Air A380. Uh, spot is paradise. If you had yeah, China aircraft, <coughs> I was enjoying the Christmas cheer. I also enjoyed Christmas. So we're on the screen in front of us. As we taxi along. Jeju Air, just over here, never heard of that airline before. Singapore Airlines and a whole lot of airlines. Oh, China Airlines coming. It's not an airline we've never seen before. Jin Gear, S7 Russian Airlines. 
A lot of airlines. That's what I say, it's a spot as paradise as the airport. Get ready for the first jump up. Looks like we're here. Well, we made it. Yes. Now we just have to go to the next flight. Nice flights. Perfect. Thank you. It was lovely. Uh -huh. Here we go. A very enjoyable flight. With very nice. Prestige class. Very lovely. Cabins. Very nice places to sit. Very comfortable. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye bye. It would be lovely to sit in this area. Very nice. Thank you very much. Lovely flight. Thank you. Bye bye. Very nice. Thank you and same to you. Bye bye. Yeah. Fresh. So lead, you lead the way. You lead the way. I follow. It's actually steam coming out of our breath. Very cold here. Yeah? Well, not very cold, but it is cold. And we're gonna make our way to gate seven. Hello. Here we have our plane. It brought us from Amsterdam here to Seoul. Let's move along. There's a quarantine here. It says, welcome to Korea. And suddenly we're in Korea for the first time. And we just transfer, which is, we must go straight. This is the immigration area as you come in through the gate. <coughs> and we're going straight down to our transfer. You smell the smell of Asia. Here we are transferring at Incheon from gate 27 to gate 7. Seven, so we're going to the left. The first mission is 